thanks for joining me. So I thought it would be important to make a video about demystifying some of the common misconceptions and myths that are out there, especially around ovulation. I think I hear this quite a lot from either my patients or my friends, and I think it's important to provide you with some guidance on it and what you should and shouldn't believe. So myth number one is that a lot of people seem to think that all women ovulate at the same time of the month, and this is absolutely not true, because for any given woman, she may have a short cycle or she may have a long cycle. So for some women, having a cycle as short as 21 days is entirely normal and for others having a cycle as long as 35 days is also normal. This is all, and I want to say it again, completely normal and depends on the actual woman. So when we talk about checking for ovulation, which your doctor may do by measuring something called the hormone progesterone, they need to take this into account. And it's important for you when you go to see the doctor to stress how short or long your particular cycles may be. Now, there are lots of different factors that even for the same woman can influence the timing of her ovulation. So things which seem as minor as stress, for example, or doing too much exercise, or losing weight too quickly, or putting weight on, can all influence ovulation, and won't necessarily mean that it happens at exactly the same time every month. Myth number two is that some people believe that you ovulate from different sides, so from each ovary in turn, depending on the month. Again, this is absolutely not true. In fact, there is no rule about this. It could be that you ovulate from the left one month and then the right in the second consecutive month, but it could also be that you end up ovulating from the same side for the first, let's say, three or four months. So it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that you're unwell or unfit or that you're going to have a problem. It's just the way that nature has designed it and how it operates. And myth number three is that some people believe that if they take a contraceptive such as the pill for a long period of time, they're helping to store up their reserve of eggs. Again, this is totally not true. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. So though the pill or another contraceptive may stop you from ovulating, it doesn't mean that all those eggs are gonna be there waiting for you when you eventually come off the contraceptive. Quite commonly, when you're on a contraceptive for a long period of time, especially the depot injection or the combined pill, it can take a little while for a woman to re-establish her periods. And this can be entirely normal just because it takes a little while for all the hormones to settle back down to normal after having been suppressed for quite a long period of time. So don't necessarily panic about that. But if it's taking six months to a year for your periods to re-establish, then I suggest you go and see your doctor who will undertake some further investigations. Hope that's been helpful.